Hey guys, what's up? This video is one I've been wanting to put together for a long time, and I think I finally have all the bits and pieces I need to get this going. Uh, what we're doing today is zinc plating. I read about a lot of guys trying this. It doesn't seem that hard, so that's what we're gonna do. So let me reset, and we'll start by going over the process, and uh, then we'll get started. So be right back. Okay guys, I'm all reset and I think it's time to get ready. Now, the first step that I need to take care of is prepping my plating bath. And the plating bath is just a solution of, of uh, white vinegar, salt, and we're gonna dissolve a little bit of zinc in there as well. So let's go ahead and get that started. Uh, I have some notes and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with one liter of 5% distilled white vinegar and for every liter, I'm gonna add 100 grams of Epsom salt. So let's go ahead and do that. I have some measuring cups here. So this is what we're gonna put our plating solution in. So let's get that started. Okay, so here's the vinegar I'm using. This is just cheap Walmart brand. Maybe this is Target brand vinegar, nothing special. That's all I want to put in there. I'll put this lid on because this stuff stinks. All right, so now I need to measure out um, 150 grams of Epsom salt. Let me, um, so this is our Epsom salt. Well, I nailed that. So that's it. So for 100 or for uh, 1.5 liters, uh, this is all the salt we need. Here we go. So my understanding is the reason why we're adding the salt into this solution is to aid in the conductivity. Uh, believe it or not, water, pure water, isn't a conductor. Now this isn't water, this is vinegar, but there's a lot of water in here. Um, water is actually an insulator. Um, and what happens is it's the uh, the impurities in water that um, that allow it to conduct electricity. Now, as far as the zinc, we're just going to put that in there, and we're just going to let it sit. And I'm going to let that sit in there overnight. Put the lid on it so it doesn't stink up the joint, and we're done. That is how easy it is to make uh, your plating solution. Now, of course, there's more to it than this. We're going to have to uh, create the circuit. We're going to have to uh, use a, uh, you know, a current source, which I have a power supply. You can see over here that I want to use for my current source. The amount of current you add to your solution, again, my understanding, <laughs> um, really just affects how fast we're going to plate whatever we're plating. The next thing I need to do is I need to pick out some, you know, some cars to practice on. This is my junk box. So let's just pick out some cars. Um, I also have a couple new cars I'm going to do as well. Um, yeah, I've got these, these cheapies. I could do one of these. Um, this is die cast. I mean, I'll put that aside. So I have this Cuda. This would probably make a pretty Pretty cool Spectre Flame car. Uh, what else do we got in here? Okay, I guess that's it. Okay, how about this guy? All right. All right, so I think I picked out these three cars to practice with. Figure they'd be, you know, kind of different enough. And then I also have. Um, I have this new Mazda RX-7, um, and what I want to do is, let's go ahead and pull these out. So the plan with these uh, was to paint one of these in what I'm hoping is a Spectre Flame type color, and then compare it to the original. That's my goal. So now what I need to do is 
uh, I need to get the bodies off these and then we'll go from there. Ow. So let's go ahead and get, get these stripped. Now I do strip cars a little bit different than a lot of other YouTubers. Um, but I'm not going to go over this too much in detail. So right now uh, I'm just going to slather these up and then we're going to put them in these uh, little buckets and just let them cook for a while. All right. So that worked out really well. very satisfying all right guys so I've got all my cars prepared and these are the five cars I'm going to start out with um, I got the arc 7 and uh, shoot I always forget what this is the CUDA uh, I got a 57 Nomad it looks like uh, this boogie van and then I've added this car right here this is a, I think it's it's a, a twin mill two or twin mill three actually if I'm not mistaken, pretty sure it's a twin mill three. And my my glasses aren't here. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a twin mill three. And these are the cars we're going to start out with. Hopefully, by the end of the uh, the video here, we'll at least paint one of these up. Um, so now, what I need to do is prepare my uh, my circuit. So let's get these guys out of the way. All right, so these are the wires that I picked up. These were the cheapest I could find on Amazon. And these are gonna have really, really thin conductors inside of them. And probably not copper, it's gonna be aluminum. It's fine. We're dealing with low current and low voltage here. So even the, the, the embarrassment of a wire that these are, uh, it's gonna be enough for what we're doing. So our positive is our anode and our negative is our cathode. The anode is the zinc rod, which is, you know, this is what I'm using for my anode. And this is what's gonna transfer the, the zinc from this to the car. And the cathode is the car itself. It's the object we're plating. So uh, I'm gonna use these wires to make the circuit. I'm gonna use two cathodes um, to try to help with the coverage probably not necessary but that's what we're gonna do I'm not gonna solder anything I'm just gonna use these twisted together and then I'm just gonna clip to them you can see how cheap these are these are so cheap And this is just going to clip to my power supply. I think my plan was to do something like this. Okay, so my circuit is now finished, and, and that's as easy as this is. It's really, you know, positive to your anodes, uh, negative to your cathode, which will be a car. And we're going to start off with this car right here. Now I need to get this just as clean as possible. And uh, any oils or dirt will mess up the plating process. So that's my next step is cleaning this, and then once that's clean, we're going to start plating. I just got this degreaser at Target. I'm not sure if this is any better than any other brand. It's just what I have. And I also have uh, distilled water. So we clean it off with the degreaser, get it nice and clean, all the oils and dirt, and then we'll rinse it with the distilled water, and then we'll start plating. So let's get started. And and I opted for this pack of brand new toothbrushes to do the cleaning. You could probably just use your old toothbrush if you wanted to, but this pack was only a dollar. 
So I went ahead and sprung for it. So I think after I finish scrubbing this, I'm going to rinse it off in the sink and uh, yeah, then we're gonna rinse it off with the distilled water. Distilled water, I went ahead and grabbed a different toothbrush and we're just gonna rinse them off. Now, all I'm doing right now is just rinsing off any of the uh, tap water. So this, uh, this step isn't, doesn't need to be quite as thorough. Okay, so we are now ready to plate this car. So what I want to do is get my, get this put in the bath. All right, well, I think we're ready to go. As you can see, I've already kind of been testing it a little bit. Uh, I have my power supply set at 1.5 volts. And so far we're only pushing about 0.2 amps. So we're doing okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. We're gonna run it for five minutes. And this is my timer. I'm gonna going to advance this to 50 and then uh, we'll get started. So we'll zip it on its own and then we'll go. This will start uh, bubbling up. And then after about five minutes, I'll pull it out and we'll clean it off and then let it go for another uh, round. I'll probably end up doing, I don't know, two to four rounds to uh, get this plated. Okay, so I think I'm on my last round. Um, I have ran this about four or five times and I needed to up the voltage a little bit. Uh, I was going real slow. And let me show you where we're at now. Let this kick off and um, yeah, this is gonna really start going. Maybe it's a little too high right now. I'm running uh, about 0.6 amps and it's about uh, 4.2 volts, which is a little high, but you can see it's really moving now. Uh, let's go ahead and shut this down. There we go. So we got this dull gray finish. Let's uh, put a little bit of a polish on that. You can see the, the difference. So I think we're, we're moving in the right direction. You know, this is how this one is turning out. It's, it's doing pretty good. I do think this could probably use a couple more runs. I'm probably not going to mess with it. This was just a test car. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plate the rest of the cars, especially the Hot Wheels cars. Okay, so I'm finally all done with the plating. And let me tell you what, that took a lot longer than I was expecting. Uh, I went ahead and plated four cars. I was gonna plate five, but it was taking so long, I, I just wanted to cut it short. Um, plus, it's kind of nice having one that's raw like this so I can compare to. Um, these are the four cars that have been plated. Now, uh, each of these cars have probably been in the solution for 40 minutes or more. So this, these got a lot of time in the, uh, in the plating bath. Um, I had to adjust a few things. Now, when I first started plating, I wasn't really getting a whole lot of uh, current flowing, you know, through the circuit. So what I ended up doing was I turned up the, the voltage and I also added more salt into my plating bath. Those two things helped a lot. Um, I think I was running over four volts and maybe 0.6 amps. So it was, it was moving pretty fast. The, remember, the more current you add to the, um, to the circuit, the more voltage, the faster it plates. It's not like you're gonna do anything wrong. You just have to pull it out faster or just accept that you're gonna have to do a little bit more finish work. Now, even with the the higher the higher current i don't see a problem with the plate on this it looks pretty good it's pretty even let me see here if you can 
That looks pretty good, I think. Now, remember, this is raw. This has only been uh, cleaned off with, uh, with the steel wool. So far, pretty happy with these. We'll see how they, how they polish. So we're going to hit these with 1,000 grit and 2,000 grit sandpaper. And then I have a couple different polishing. I, got a, I have a heavy-duty polishing compound and then more of a finish compound. Okay, so, oh yeah, it came out pretty good. This thing is shiny. Let me uh, just give it one final buff. There we go. Yeah. And <clears throat> as a comparison, this is what we started with. Big change. Okay, well, I have three more cars to do. I'm going to go ahead and polish these guys off camera because, you know, <laughs> not super exciting. But um, yeah, that worked out really well. Okay, so we are all done plating and polishing. Man, let me tell you, this was a big job. <laughs> I was not expecting it to take this long uh, to plate these cars. Uh, you see it, you see people doing this, and you know, in videos, and they just, it happens, you know, like that. But uh, it's, I've worked on this all day, plus, a, you know, a couple days before, you know, here and there. But uh, yeah, all done. And uh, here's, here's what we started out with. I'm sorry, this is dark. I have my, my lights went out. It's pretty dull. And this is what we're at now. very shiny so real happy with this um, but yeah uh, the next step is to paint one of these and that's uh, for me uh, I've got to dig out my, my spray booth but, so that's going to take me a day or two to get to that but for you it'll just be a second <laughs> um, I think I'm either going to go um, I'm using one of these uh, candy 2o paints I want to see how well Candy 2O sort of replicates Spectre Flame. You know, we'll see how that works out. What the fuck? All right, boys, we're going to need to put this one on pause because this project that has already taken a way too long has just gone off the rails. Now, I'm back on track, but I'm going to need to split this up into two parts, and I'll finish up in the next video. Hang tight, and we'll get one of these little beauties painted up, and I'll get that posted as soon as possible. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.